Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. As you can see, today I'm sitting down. I'm not standing up. And the reason for that is because I'm going to make a seasoning for you. So anyway, this is a great seasoning. It's a seasoning I use for so many different things. And it just it's just so perfect. Um, I've added, subtracted, added, added more, double, this and that, until I got just the right seasoning. And it's my taco seasoning, which is this one right here. And I've got some right here that I keep on hand all the time. I put it in mason jars. And these are the jars that I use when I make jam and jellies and all. And it just they work so well for me. But you can use any container that you want that works for you. So then I write down whatever it is on top. Like this one says taco seasoning. But just because it's a taco seasoning doesn't mean that I can't use it on anything else. Because the spices that I put in here are so perfect for chicken enchiladas, uh, beef enchiladas, uh, crispy tacos. Um, I use it on pork and certain dishes, etc., etc., And it's just perfect. So I'm going to share the recipe with you. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you where I usually put them in. And these are the little mason jars. They, like I said, they work so well. And I get the lids and I keep them like this. So they, they come in all different sizes, you know, little ones, medium ones, fat ones, bigger ones all different sizes and they're just perfect so anyway let's get started on this I'm gonna use start with the red chili powder now this chili powder that I've got in here also happens to be homemade chili powder that I made now in here I use guajillo peppers and two or three other peppers and later I'm gonna make a video on that too but uh, if all it takes is just red chili powder so you can use any chili powder that you have and all grocery stores have chili powder. So just get you some red chili powder. That's the first ingredient. So I'm gonna be doing two and a half tablespoons of red chili powder. So there's one, there's two and a half. Two and a half red chili powder. And then I'm gonna do one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, just plain garlic powder. If you can get the real fine garlic powder, that's even better. So I'm gonna do one and a half teaspoons. So I've got one and a half. As you can see, I'm just kind of more or less because if you go over a little bit or a little less, it doesn't matter. It'll still work. So don't worry about going, you know, measuring it, measuring it exactly because it'll still work. Okay. So now I'm going to do three fourths of a teaspoon of onion powder. Now this is just plain onion powder, but I also keep it here. And the reason I do that is because I buy the big containers and then I just refill. So they're, you know, easy for me. So this is just plain onion powder. So you're going to do three-fourths of a teaspoon of onion powder. Just like that. Three-fourths of a teaspoon of onion powder. And then I'm going to do three-fourths of a teaspoon of oregano. This is good oregano. And it doesn't take a lot. So I'm going to do three-fourths of a teaspoon. Just like that. And then I'm going to do one and a half teaspoons of paprika. Now, if you have smoked paprika, that's perfect because I love smoked paprika. But this happens to be just plain paprika. So I'm going to do one and a half teaspoons. One. And a half teaspoons of paprika and then I'm gonna do one and a half tablespoons of cumin this is just plain ground cumin okay so I'm gonna do one and a half tablespoons 
So here's one and a half of cumin. Then the salt, I'm going to do, this is just plain salt. You can use uh, sea salt. I'm just using just the regular salt. So I'm going to be doing two and a half teaspoons. Two and a half teaspoons of salt. And then I'm going to be doing one teaspoon of pepper. Now this pepper right here is also freshly ground pepper. I have a coffee grinder and then I just buy the big containers of peppercorns. I just put them in there and grind them up real good and usually keep it full. I'm running down low on this, so I'll have to grind some of this too. So anyway, I'm going to be doing one teaspoon of pepper, but you can use as much as you want. And that is good. Later, when I add it to my dish, I can do a little more salt or a little more pepper. And that's why I kind of go a little low on the salt and the pepper because then I'll do the adjusting later. But the rest of the ingredients, I usually keep them just like I showed you. So then after I do all that, I just close it up and shake it really good like this. Then I write it up here. I'll put taco seasoning. And here it is. That's taco seasoning. And this is, like I said, this is what I use when I make enchiladas, when I make tacos, when I make fish tacos. I use it on my fish sometimes. I have one for fish and I'll show you that too. But this is my taco seasoning and it goes around beautifully. So anyway, I wanted to share this with you so you won't have to go to the grocery store and buy any more. You'll never have to buy it again. You'll always use this and it's going to work so perfect for you. Uh, if you like it, send me a note. Tell me what you think. If um, you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't shared, please share. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you.